the bat? Show who he's messing with. Now he gets interested. I mean, why apply cognitive resources to a problem when you can just throw crap at it? Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. First, a little background for those of you who haven't been paying attention. In the late spring of 1919, the United States... United States... Area units, keep your eyes out for two male suspects loitering in little... Are your party crackers bland? Do your breakfast pancakes need an extra bit of sweet flavor? Do you like the taste of fruit? Try my product. Flyers were left behind. They bore the title, Plain Vomit. Area units, keep your eyes out for two male suspects loitering in Little Tokyo. 1041s may be armed. Roger, 22. We got eyes there. Copy. 
listeners on this cold Christmas Eve. It's how a little charity for those in need really goes a long way. The residents of the former Black Fire Shelter for the Homeless were in for a holiday treat this afternoon when they found piles of shoeboxes individually gift wrapped under their tree. The names changed, but the repressive tactics and fear mo to the Homeless Foundation. The team deserves the means to pull themselves up. us. You deported us. You murdered us whenever you could. Now that the great war waged to replenish your purses and build a pedestal to your saints is over. Nothing better can you do to protect your stolen millions and your usurped fame than to direct all the power of the murderous institutions you created for your exclusive defense against the working multitudes rising to a more human conception of life. The jail. The jails. The dungeons you reared to bury all protesting voices are now replenished with languishing conscientious workers and never satisfied, you increase their number every day. It is history of yesterday that your gunmen were shooting and murdering unarmed masses by the wholesale. It has been the history of every day in your regime. And now all prospects are even worse. Do not expect us to sit down and pray and... I was pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Oh. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comms. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these. stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position.
make that stuff out of the dumpster. I told you it smelled funny. So what am I supposed to do then, huh? Just store it? You could've cooked it first. Cooking kills the germs. Oh yeah, I should've just gone and used the street barbecues they got on every corner. Or maybe the fancy oven back in my mansion. Yeah, I should've done that. Hey, you asked a question. I gave you an answer. Got to find that walkie-talkie and get its SIM card.
expect me to believe that? I need to find the next comm station. Then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment. Like saving his own arse. So next time you want to make up a story, you better hope the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh, wait. That's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. <sighs> Whatever these relays are protecting, it can't be good. I should destroy any more I come across. Land on quietly! Ugh. <laughs> 
I got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order. Come on! 